I am Dr. Nupur Goyal, consultant pediatrician neurologist, Cloudland Hospital, Ludhiana. So, what are the skin color changes in newborn? First, we'll talk about the blue color. When the baby born, if you will see the baby, his hands and feet are blue. So that we call as acrocyanosis. It is normal for baby. Within a few hours, it disappears. So it is because of decreased circulation. But if the baby general body or the lip and mucosa is blue, that indicates central cyanosis. So baby needs some medical help. Second, if the baby is having some white spots on the body, especially on the nose, on the chin, that we call as melia. So that is a normal newborn rashes. So that will disappear itself. Third color is yellow. That we call as jaundice. Usually, we'll see the starting two days, we don't see jaundice much, but it appears on third day and it disappears up to seven days. But if it remains after seven days or if it appears less than 24 hours of life or if it stains palms and soul or if the mother is having some blood group mismatch, means mother is having blood group O or negative blood group, that is a sign that baby needs some medical help. Fourth, if the baby is having some red rashes, we'll see that the third day of life, Baby has some red spots, we call as erythema toxicum. There is no cause for that and it disappears automatically up to 10 days. Another rash, red color rash is we can see on the forehead on upper eyelids that we call a stroke bite. Gradually over the time it will also disappear. Commonly seen rash is diaper rash. It is a very common, very common complaint comes from parents. Diaper rash usually occur just because of uh, soiling of the diaper, soiling of that perineal area. So for that, uh, just uh, keep the baby diaper free for some time, keep that area dry and you can also apply the zinc ointments. And so if the baby is having fever along with these rashes or decreased feeding or any pus discharge or lethargy. So in that case, that is a serious condition, you have to consult your doctor.